Okay, in this recording, what we're going to do is that we're going to look for are all the variables which are included in the model, are they jointly significant or not? See, you won't be able to differentiate this much from the t-test, which is for individual significance, much in the simple linear regression model. I'll, I'll give you an example. What is actually goodness of fit or f-test is trying to tell you in a simple linear regression model is this. Suppose you have this model, yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2 t plus ut. How many variables are there in this model? Only one variable. Okay. So it is trying to test whether the mo whether the variables which are included in the model are they significantly diff are this are they statistically significant or not that is what it is trying to tell supposedly if you have the model yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2 t plus beta 3 x 3 t plus u t then in that case test of overall significance would have tested are the variables included in the model, which is x2t and x3t, are they statistically significant jointly? Okay, are you able to make the difference here? The difference is you can't you can't appreciate f test much in the simple linear regression model because it is not very different from the individual regression, sorry, individual significance test, apart from the statistic which it is following. But you can appreciate it in case if you see it in contrast with the multiple linear regression model. The test of overall significance is trying to tell you is is actually trying to is actually trying to tell you how far the the variables which are included in the model are they are statistically significant. They are affecting the y variable jointly. How far they are statistical statistically and significantly affecting the dependent variable jointly. That is what their idea is. Okay. Now, just looking at the simple linear regression model, in case if I want to look at that, how far this is affecting this yt, the variables which are included, I can look at the correlation between x and y. So in case if the correlation is zero, that would mean that x is not a very significant variable affecting y. So my alternative should be a, a completely opposing view, which is that there is the, the correlation between x and y is not equal to zero. You're getting the point? You want to test whether the variable which is the variable or variables which are included in the model, are they jointly affecting y, which is a dependent variable. In this particular model, in this simple linear regression model, only one variable is added. Okay, only one variable is added. So you your question should be that this xt, this x2t is affecting or is, is affecting the dependent variable significantly. Okay, so your idea should be, is there a correlation between x and y? So you will, you will, you will make two competing hypotheses. One hypothesis is that you will say that there is no correlation between x and y. So rho of x, y is equal to zero. And the alternative, which is a competing hypothesis is that there, uh, there is there is a correlation between x and y that is not equal to zero. So it will, it will follow f statistic, which is, uh, which is r square into n minus two upon one minus r square. And it will follow f distribution with one degree of freedom for numerator. That is only one variable, which is, which is being, uh, sorry, there is uh, one parameter is there, which is to be estimated. Sorry, two parameters, which are there to be estimated and n minus two, degrees of freedom for denominator. Okay. So you, you are, you're actually looking for only one variable here. So it is one. So there is one restriction here, which is one and N minus two restrictions for the denominator. Now, why it is following F distribution, how you are getting this F distribution. I'm not going to getting into it right now. Okay. In some other recording, we'll talk about that. Why does it follow F distribution? Why does this follow this rule? with one degrees of freedom for numerator and n minus two degrees of freedom for denominator. And so your second step in the hypothesis testing is that you will, you will form the test statistic and this is this FC. The third step is that you will find out the critical value. Say you want to test this for at, at 5% level of significance. So you will test this for 0 0.05. Okay. And that is, this is that. 
a 0 0.05 with 1 degrees of freedom for numerator and n minus 2 degrees of freedom for denominator okay since there is only one restriction which is being placed that is by x2 so you're putting this one huh and n minus 2 is the number of degrees of freedom which you have so you'll get this value of f star from the f tables in in the other recording i'll tell you how to look at these f tables but you just understand the meaning of the this test right now and the fourth and the last rule uh, last step is the decision rule in which you say that in case of the calculated value of this f which you have calculated this r square is the unadjusted r square which you're going to get from the regression running a regression and in case if that is greater than this critical f then you reject the null hypothesis you reject this that saying this that um, there is no correlation and you will you will reject this in the favor of the alternative hypothesis that there is correlation between x and y okay